All right, welcome back to LearnWire. We're looking at this software that's called Tripo or Tripo. Not really sure how to pronounce it, but I'm going to go with Tripo. This is a 3D modeling design tool. So basically, you're able to put in uh, prompts, kind of like an, an image tool, but you're going to be getting things like this, right? So I've already been kind of fooling around with it. We can put this guy as walking, and I can actually use my like my left mouse key and move this guy around. So I'm holding the mouse, the left mouse, and look, we can actually move this all around and get a top view of this guy walking. There's a lot of things that you could actually do with this, right? Now, this character, I actually put in just a really simple prompt right here, blue lion clip art playing in the play, playing in the playground at school. This is what the software came up with. Here he is running right here. You could have him running at you. It's actually pretty cool playing with this. And then you could go to just standing there. This is what I got from just a real simple prompt. We're going to go and see if we can do some cooler things. But I think this flip is cool too. Now, I don't know how we unlock more poses, which is cool. But you could do all kinds of cool stuff. And then we have the, you could stylize this and make him into like a Lego or a Voxelize or these, all these different ones. Now they cost credits Now I've signed up for a free account and it, you, apparently you get 600 credits and I believe that's per month. I'm not sure if that's just one time. This is just like a free account, right? But there's a lot of things that we can do is go put this guy back in standing mode. So we can just look at him. There's some other options over here that you can do too. You can click the hamburger icon and then you can come over here and you can change, you know, the shading on him and so forth so you can see right there we can go back to the original and you can see it's just from a like the light angles and so forth change and then you can come over here and you know make him albino or completely white so just kind of some really cool stuff going on you can favorite this I'm going to go ahead and add this to a favorites just because I'm just new to the tool. I'm not sure what the refresh tool is. I'm not going to do that. But now you can download this and I'm not really sure what to do with this because it's going to be a GLB for uh, file format. Now there's other file formats over here, USD, X, GLB, and 3MF. I don't know what any of those file types are. I'm not into 3D, you know, modeling or anything like that I, or video production or uh, anything like that. So I don't really know what those mean. The GLB is the, the standard format. <clears throat> and what I've kind of researched a little bit on is come over here to Google and say, what can you do with this .glb file? There's a lot of information that you can do. But essentially, when you come down here and scroll down, you can import this into Blender, which is an open source, you know, 3D modeling tool. So there's you're going to have to find a tool that obviously if this is a tool for people that are into 3D modeling and then and kind of know what to do with this stuff. But essentially you could use this to create video and create, you know, movies and stuff like that. But you're going to need to use a software that is able to use those uh, tools. But I found a kind of a workaround, just an obvious workaround, is that if we go back to the tool and you can just kind of see and get him to do some different things like walking or whatever, right? And if I wanted to record this, I would just go into Camtasia or go into any of your screen recording software and you would just, you know, hover over this and record this. Then you could come in here and this is what it's going to look like, right? So we have a video of him doing a flip. Now it's only going to be the one pose, which is cool, but you could actually with no skills like, like myself and most of us are going to be, you know, not knowledgeable of this. But you could even do some really cool things with this, which is, you know, take this back over here. I just made sure I got a, a lot of the footage. And then right after he flips and it comes back, so maybe like right there, we would go ahead and split this, right? So I'm going to just click that right there, split this, and then get rid of this first one right over here. And then we'll just push play and then boom, he's going to go and do that. And then right there, we could just go ahead and split that again right there. And then you have your pose, right? And so we could go over here and just delete that. So then now we have this pose right here that we could go back and look at real quick. And, you know, you could put some different objects on the scene, you know, like depending on what video editing tool you're using, right? Obviously, I'm just using Camtasia right now. But you could come in here and add annotations, you know, come down here, maybe add that, move this over, have him talking. You could actually build a scene here, go and get different, him doing different things and so forth. And you could actually build some little simple videos, maybe make a YouTube uh, kids channel or something like that, right? So pretty cool stuff here where you actually had full have full control over the character and shape that you're actually going to create. So I thought that was a, kind of a, just a cool little way to kind of look at this. Now let's go back out real quick. 
So I'm gonna click the X button, and then these are the three that it actually created based on my initial prompt, and then you can choose which one you want, right? And then you can go in there and further um, edit and get more poses. But this is what it looks like when you kind of come over to the page, right? Um, you're gonna start off with 600 credits. I've used a couple already. Uh, and then you're gonna be able to go in here and look at what other people are creating. Uh, you know, like right over here, look at this like burger icon, whatever this is, van right here, look at this. So you got this van, complete 3D modeling, super cool stuff. And if you wanted to just get a really cool picture of something, right, like you could go uh, get it. Even I'm just thinking of just basic use cases for this stuff, right? So we could kind of move this the right angle that we want and you go and favorite this, right? If this is your like logo or your business or whatever you're doing for marketing even. And then we could go in here and we could just, you know, screenshot this, right? So we could screenshot this right here. We could capture this. And then what we could do is... We could go into uh, Canva real quick. And let's just say we're gonna like look, make a logo, right? So we're gonna go and um, upload that file real quick. And so here's the file, right? So I'm gonna go grab that, open that up, and then bring it into Canva, bring it into any of your image editing softwares, whatever you wanna do, bring that in. And then, so you have the blue in the background. We could actually, well, let's, let's try this. I'm gonna hover over and say background remove. Let's see if this will, works for us. It worked really well. So then now you have this nice 3D model that, you know, that's what makes this extremely unique is that you have a 3D model in the exact pose that you wanted based on, you know, going into the software and moving this around. If you're like, oh, that's not quite what I want. Let's move the angle. I like that angle. That's super, super cool. Uh, maybe even like that. And then just go ahead and take a screenshot of that, right? So super cool. And then you could come in here and center this up and then maybe, you know, go over here to text. And uh, let's just, I'm just, you know, totally spitballing here on what you could do with this. Now you go with a heading and you say, you know, something like Dave's Burgers, right? Get some better text, some better font on that. And then maybe, you know, move the line spacing, maybe change the color, you know, like if I want to go over here to the match some of this color right over here, maybe we go with a green or a yellow. Let's go with the green maybe. And then we would go and highlight the this Dave's part. And then maybe we go and change that color right there. And then maybe just the burger part, we, you know, make it maybe color pick right here and make it the blue color. Something like over here, like maybe right there, boom. And so then now you've got this really cool way to create a logo using the the Tripo software. So then you could go and download this and you would select the transparent image and then you'd have this really unique logo that you're not gonna be able to get if you don't go through this customization the way that we just did this. So really cool, you can go and just check out what other people are doing. Look at this cool robot right here. So this is other people's creations that are kind of made public. You can go look at this really cool robot right here. So I just think it's super cool. I mean, look at the glossiness, the glare, the realism of this. Really, really cool graphics. Okay, so let's go check out some more of the tool. Let's go check out the pricing real quick. And you know, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I just wanna look at really cool tools that are that I'm finding and share them with you guys, right? And that's what I do on this channel. And so this is pricing. You get 600 credits monthly, right? And there's uh, different credits depending on what you're doing. Generally, it's not gonna cost one credit to do something. It's gonna cost five credits or more to do certain things. But if you want 3,000 credits, you pay $20 a month. And then 139, obviously, uh, this if this tool is like lighting you up and you're like, oh my gosh, this is like the best tool I've ever seen and this is going to change my business or my, you know, whatever I'm doing, I, I know I can make money from this, then obviously you probably see the value in this even at $139 a month because you're going to get 25,000 credits. You could be an agency. You can do do completely design things that people don't know about. I mean, because we're, this is like, what my opinion, this is leaps and bounds ahead of like, just like mid journey or just a, an AI image creator that just creates images, which is super cool. But this takes it to a whole nother level, obviously, right? Where you have 3D modeling, super, super cool. You can make movies with this, make video. You can make, like, I just, like, I just uh, spitballed and, you know, off the cuff made a logo uh, using the 3D clip art right there like that. Cool stuff you can do. It looks like they have a community on Twitter, Medium, YouTube, and Discord. And that's the pricing right there, okay? So let's go and do something kind of fun right here too. Oh, and it looks like you can purchase extra credits. You do have to be a subscriber. So let's say you're on the $19 a month plan, but you need an extra thousand. You could come in here and just add you know, more. It looks like it's pretty affordable. $10 for every thousand credits, $20 right there for 2,000 credits. 
so far, I'm really liking this. Look at this. Here's a box. You could come in here and just even just go and look at what people have here. Oh, I wanted to show you another feature. So there's just like a super cool box, right? You could use these for video game. Obviously, this is probably for video game uh, development this is going to be the most common thing. But what's really cool is we can come in here and you can actually go into, well, go into my models and we had a, a favorite, right? So it created all those. If you have favorites, it's also going to save in here as well. But right over here, when you go and let's see where it's at. So if I just say back to the lion real quick, so lion, it should be, it's going to go and find anything that's been created that's lions, right? So you can see all these different lions right here. You can go look at them. Super, super cool. Like this is what people have already created in the software, right? And so if we come back over here, but then now I say lion blue, you'd be surprised how many blue lions there are now. Like look at all these lions that have blue, like this guy over here looks super, super cool right here. And you can go and check out, uh, this is a nice cool lion standing on two legs with a nice blue business suit on. Super, super cool stuff, right? And you can go do more stuff, I believe. Uh, we can go and obviously change his coloring. I'm not sure why we don't have a couple other options there, but I'm not sure. We can't really do anything else because we didn't create him. So we don't have the other options that you get when you actually create the guy yourself, but you can come over here and download the file and then you'd be able to go and use this guy. So we can't edit this guy, but you can certainly get other characters that other people have created which is super, super cool. Now, they have some other stuff over here too. They have some coding, or this is just to change it up. Look at this. An awkward ragdoll monster hand sewn. What is that? Freeze. And so look at the screen uh, bird coming up over here. We just go ahead and click that. Cat girl right here. And then there's your cat girl. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what the image is. You can actually upload an image and then make a 3D model out of that. I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial, but basically you put your prompt in here, push create. Before I do that, I just wanna see what popcorn does, right? So if I just, I don't know if you just push popcorn, enter your prompt here. Okay, so I'm not really sure. Let's just say a uh, cat girl. Let's stick with that theme and then say popcorn. And then let's see what popcorn does for us real quick. So this is what it's doing right here. It, it gave us the prompt, a playful cat, eared girl with whiskers wearing a, a pastel uh, sweater juggling colorful yarn balls while balancing on a giant ball of string this is crazy so it's going to uh, help you and just kind of basically like popcorn right it's going to just come up with a completely crazy prompt for you if you don't have an exact prompt. So that's kind of cool. I like that they put that option in there. If you just want something really creative and you don't, you just know like the noun of what you want to look for, but you, or the object, but you don't have any other idea what you want to create. Well, you can use the popcorn button and it's going to go create. So you can see it's actually forming and creating for us. This is a preview. We'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so this is what we've got. So you'll be able to look at the different models that were created. And then obviously, let's see, boom, they all look really cool. Let's go with maybe this one. Maybe they, I'm not sure if the hands look kind of weird. This one's kind of cool. She's holding the yarn balls right there. Well, I'll just click that one, whatever. So I guess you just click the full screen right there. And then this is where you'd be able to go. And this is what it looks like. Cause then this is where you'll have the different options, the different coloring and shadings right there. And then you can come over here and then this is where rigging animation, it costs 20. So if I click on one of these, it's going to go ahead and create a skeleton and like the body. And so it can, you know, do full 3D rendering. That's going to cost 20 credits. You can also go and we'll legalize Lego one of these in a minute. So that's kind of how that works. The popcorn, that's pretty cool. You can see our credits are starting to kind of diminish a little bit. We're at 475 now. So we've used 125 credits. Wow, this guy looks pretty cool. You can see how you could spend hours in, in the software and just have fun and you could create some really really cool like logos and graphics that people are going to be like where the hell did you get that stuff from well this is my first time really fooling around with one of these drop a comment below if you made it this far in the video and also tell me if you've used these 3d modeling tools before and what your experience is and what your thoughts are on them here's a really cool lego one right here super super cool man like wow Okay, so last thing I wanted to do was show you what you could do. We could come over here into ChatGPT, and what I did was I said, I need a 3D image prompt for a blue clip art lion playing on the playground at school. And I wanted to use this one because remember the simple basic prompt that I put in, well, if you use the power of ChatGPT or Claude, it's gonna go out there and be able to create this giant prompt. I don't know if it's gonna actually be able to use this, but let's go in and see if I could go in and use this prompt right here, paste that in, 
is it too appealing to youthful audience? And it did let us use that whole thing. And so now I'm going to say create. And it's going to go and create based off of this entire giant prompt right here. Surround the line with the typical playground equipment like swings, slides. Now, it won't be able to do that. It's not going to be able to do that because what I have noticed is that this 3D modeler does not create scenes. I don't think it creates scenes. It only creates a character, right? So we would have to create a scene separately using another tool or another software. It, this creates characters, right? So that is something very important to know that Tripo creates characters, 3D model characters, but it does not create the scenes. This one did create a slide, so it's going to kind of do something for us. We'll be right back. All right. So this did give us a lot better like clip art, like, you know, so I, I, I like it, right? We didn't get a full scene. We didn't get the full, we didn't get monkey bars and all that, but we did get a pretty cool scene right here. I think that this one's really cool. You would need to do something to kind of finish the scene. So he's not just sitting there in, in the air like that, but this one is pretty cool too. So you, we would need to do something on these two right here, but the one that's just ready to go is probably this one right here, right? So then we could go in here and there's, oh, that's a full blown, there's the slide right there, right? It's not too big of a slide, but this would be a toddler lion right here. But that is super, super cool. Now let's click the Lego button right here. Let me show, I guess, let me show you what it looks like to, well, this one, I don't know. It wouldn't really make sense to have him walking and stuff because there is a prop in the scene, but you just click this and then it goes and rigs this. But I'm going to click the Lego uh, button here and we'll be right back. All right. That was super, super fast. There's your Lego model of this lion right here. Pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this. This is Tripo or Tripo 3D. I go check it out. You can go. I think that they're pretty generous. You definitely get to try this out really good for 600 credits per month. And then if this is, if you're going to be using this and, you know, probably making money from this, then you're going to probably want to upgrade to that $20 plan. I just want to bring some different softwares on, on this one, you know, to you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you made it this far in the video. And if you liked this sort of tool, a little bit different uh, for the channel, but this was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.